Welcome to Cool Guns. Let's compare some details about these three Legion guns by SIG. We have the P220 in 10 millimeter, the P229, which is the compact and of the 226, and the P2 365 AXG Legion. And I just got this AXG Legion and wanted to uh, do some comparison. Uh, one thing I don't like about the 229, which I think is the same as the 226's, is the metal frame rises up right here, so it makes the grip thicker. But then this grip also has a raised portion right here which makes the grip even that much thicker. So as you can see on the P229 Legion, the bulge you grip width is 1.41 compared to the AXG in the 220. Those grip widths are about the same of 1.18, 1.19 should probably say 1.2 and that definitely makes a difference in my hand the the next measurement that's really important for accuracy is how high up you can get your hand to the barrel axis and that is this bottom measurement the top of the back of the grip to the slide so, for example, on the AXG, that would be right here up to the slide. And the closer you can get your hand up to the, to the barrel, the more accurate the gun is going to be. And so you can see that the, the striker-fired AXG only has a 0.6 compared to just over one inch and, and one inch for the P220. So that will definitely make a good bit of difference in accuracy if you're really looking for that. Um, one thing that was interesting to me though is that from the, the top of the grip to the trigger in double action, they're all about the same. And the AXG is, since it's a striker fired, it's always in double action. But look at some of these numbers, see what you think. And we'll go through them a little bit. And you can see that the AXG definitely is a more narrow slide. It's a more narrow gun, but it fits in my hand really well. I really like it. Um, I haven't been liking the the grip and the, and holding the 229 nearly as much as the AXG. So if you're looking for a little more comfortable, little bit smaller package, but a full grip size. That's a pretty good full grip size. The AXG Legion is turning out in my mind to be a really superior holding and feeling gun. So if any of these other numbers look important to you, uh, let me know if you need to know what they are or where I measured them from. I have some other papers that I can uh, send you notes on. But another interesting thing, as you can see on the AXG compared to the 229, is that definitely the frame. 
is is bigger but the length of the slides is almost identical you can also see that the AXG doesn't have some of these opened pins it, and since it doesn't have a hammer it doesn't have the decocking or the the hammer one thing I do I haven't tested out or really understood but the you compare this part of the Legion or the 229 and the AXG must be a new design but they are really quite different on the 229 this is it's a nice narrow groove with the rail and it's only goes in a little bit whereas on the AXG it's a much bigger groove and it goes in quite a bit different it may actually be a different style rail but I haven't looked into that detail yet another awesome part of the AXG that I'm enjoying is that you can see on the right above the trigger where your finger would be when it's straight it actually has some serrations and it has them on the other side too so when your finger is not on the trigger it has a little bit of grip that's actually really cool I just barely noticed that uh, the other day when I was playing around with it The only thing I'm also trying to figure out on this is it does have the cut slide for an optic. I'm thinking about doing the Romeo Zero or the Romeo Zero Pro, but I do I don't want to have a red dot that is too much wider than the slide. It'll give it a little bit too much bulk. So I'm gonna have to figure out which red dot will be able to be narrow enough. And here's the full size 220. You can see the full size 220 compared to the 229. And so the 226 would be the same as with this added on, but on the right here. So this compact is the 229 and this full size is the 220. The other few things that they did to the AXG that I really like is they cut into the beaver tail a little bit. They're trying to help you get your hand up closer to the slide and the barrel for accuracy. And also I think this one's just for comfort. They cut a groove in right underneath the top of the grip and underneath the trigger guard. Makes it really comfortable. This does have a mag whale on the AXG that's removable, but I don't know if they make mags that would actually fit flush, so it may not, it may not matter. But this AXG Legion is similar to the 365XL, where the bulk barrel 
is shorter than the slide in order to allow these compensation slots to help with muzzle rise when shooting it. And I'll show you the, the grip width difference. As you can see here, slide, frame, and then grip. Oh, one cool aspect is you can see that the, the grip, where the grip lays down has actually been cut into the frame a little bit. It's almost like the, the top part of the grips and the frame the grip is recessed a little bit into the frame they have some good checkering and these these grips have really good texture uh, I think a little bit more aggressive than the 226 and the 220 Also, the, you can see the trigger wheel is a little more rounded compared to the 226 and the 220. The trigger wheel guard is definitely has that little point on the bottom in the front. And that's been rounded off on the AXG to make it smoother and this AXG is just a lot smoother all around it fits and holds in the hand extremely well and the AXG it has a 17 round is as a 17 round nine, nine millimeter mag. The 229 has uh, the 10 round for the California and the Massachusetts, but it also has 15 round uh, magazines. And you can see from why that is. Here we have, from the start of the trigger guard to the bottom of the grip, the AXG, even though it's a smaller overall gun, with its compactness and striker fire, and it definitely has a longer option for more bullets in the magazine compared to the 229. It's only 2.15 inches from the top of the the grip top of the grip by the trigger guard down to the bottom of the grip and then the 10 millimeter has essentially a little bit longer grip length but it's 10 millimeter and it only holds eight rounds because it's a single stack So these are some dimensions that you do not find on any websites or the manufacturer's websites, but these help you look at the gun more aesthetically for your hand, for carry, for if you want a light, if you want uh, a, a red dot. I don't like the idea of having a red dot plate or a red the base of the red dot being quite a bit wider than the the slide so this dimension will help you understand that and know what kind of red dot you can look for well if you have any questions let me know if you need me to do any other measurements if you're looking into any of these guns i can make those measurements for you and let you know
I'll tell you, let's do one more thing. You can also see, I think they're optimizing the beaver tail. As you can see, this goes up a little bit. They've cut into it on the bottom. And it goes up a little bit. These ones are big and bulky. That's a lot of metal for no reason. But the problem is it keeps your hand further away from the barrel axis, which decreases accuracy and increases uh, recoil flip. So hopefully they start doing this new AHG style beaver tail on all of their guns. I think it's really awesome and real definitely help get the hand closer to the axis of the barrel. Okay. Well, take care. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. And prepare to have a, a wonderful holiday. Bye.